How you doing? My name is Forrest Smith. Welcome to my channel. Well, today's video, it's the Pemmican two-year challenge. I made the Pemmican two years ago, and uh, actually it's been two years and one month. So, we're going to check it out, see if it's still good. Right here I have the case, if you could, if it'll focus, you know, October 2019. That is when I made it, so... We're going to open it up, check it out, see if it's still good, and then uh, cook with it. So stick around. Let's get started. All right, here it is. Let's open it up. Two years. Is it good? Well, there it is. It looks exactly as I did when I sealed it up. Get a little closer there. Focus. Let's open it up a little bit. There is no mold or anything else on here. I mean, it's a little bit firmer, but uh, it still looks the same. All right, let's see if it tastes the same. It tasted like unseasoned beef uh, with Crisco on it. And that's exactly what it still tastes like. Unseasoned beef or Crisco. Well, it's breakfast time, so let's go cook with it. I'm going to scramble an egg with the pemmican and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. Got the cast iron pan. Have the pemmican. And one of my eggs from the chickens. So what I'm going to do is kind of worst case scenario, no seasoning or anything, you know, simulating this kind of over a fire in the woods. So I'm just going to drop the pemmican in and I'm pretty interested to see uh, what's going to happen with it. I'm going to predict that the beef suet is uh, going to kind of come out and maybe coat the pan. But it could be wrong. Yeah, there it is. You can see right there that spot. It's uh, kind of browning it. But it is smoking up a lot. Let's go ahead and get that egg in there. hoping for a little bit more uh, grease coming out of it to coat the pan, which it really didn't do. But it did kind of chunk up, which I like, so it's going to be like eating a chunk of meat and rather than just a little flake. Alright, well that's pretty much cooked, so let me uh, put it in a plate. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like. One egg and the pemmican. Doesn't look bad. Let's see how it tastes. Let's check it out. First, I'm going to taste just an egg to see if the pemmican gave it any flavor. I'm going to say not really. It tastes like egg. If you remember in the last time I cooked with pemmican, which was, I don't know, a year ago, I just uh, 
dropped the pemmican in with some water and rice and boiled it and the rice had that nice beef flavor i was kind of hoping the chicken would be that way or the egg would be that way but no it just tasted like egg so let me go ahead and uh taste just some pemmican all right so this is more beefy than Crisco when I ate it just kind of right out the package. So that would taste better, a little bit easier to eat, wasn't as greasy. So now I'm going to get me some pemmican and egg. No, it's not bad at all. The pemmican is actually kind of crunchy like uh, a hash brown. Kind of like if you had a hash brown mixed in with some scrambled egg, that's about the texture of it. But it tastes like beef. So overall, not bad. Yeah, crunchy beefy egg breakfast salt and pepper would fix everything if you was just wanting taste but uh, overall not bad if this was an emergency situation and you had no seasoning and all you had was a little bit of pemmican and some eggs wouldn't be bad i've had a lot worse well thanks for watching i'll do another video in about six months so we'll do a two and a half year mark is the pemmican still good i'm pretty sure it will be i'm hoping to get at least five to maybe 10 years is the goal i have enough to do about 15 or 20 years provided youtube's still around and i'm still here doing it but right now at two years it's good if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.